Hi guys, and welcome back to another full self-driving beta drive. Today, we are gonna be taking a look at how the car performs down in Pittsburgh, and we're running version 10.5, and starting out today's drive, we're in the section of Pittsburgh known as Southside, and we're gonna be moving up into the Southside slopes. And right off the bat, I'm gonna warn you that today's drive is gonna be extremely challenging for the car. I lost count of how many disengagements I had, and you'll kind of see why in terms of how intense the driving situations get. So right off the bat here, you can see at this intersection, the car's having a hard time making this very tight right turn. And I actually have to end up taking over uh, because it almost looked like the car was gonna cross over the WL line. So we'll go ahead and re-engage autopilot once it's safe to do so. And anytime that the FSD beta is active, you'll see the blue steering wheel on the screen. I'll also put a message on the bottom right side of the screen. And this just means that the car is in control of all driving functions. So steering, acceleration, and braking. So now we've got a hill where we have to make our left turn. It's kind of a split road here. Again, wasn't too confident in how the car was performing. So I do end up applying the brake and that's gonna automatically disengage autopilot. Then once I re-engage, the car does attempt to make the turn here. And it's having a hard time seeing the roadway ahead. Then we have a car that pulls out in front of us here. The car slows down appropriately. I had to apply the brakes in this situation. The car was slowing down, but again, I just wasn't comfortable with how close the car was getting to the other one in front of us. And as usual in today's drive, I'm not going to cut out any sections. I will speed through the less eventful portions though. So you can see that the roads are very windy and pretty narrow again. And up ahead, you're gonna see that the car is gonna try to make a right turn, which is essentially almost a 160, 170 degree turn. And the way the road is sloped, there's just no way that the car is gonna be able to make it without bottoming out. I'm gonna disengage FSD at this point. I'll let the car reroute and then re-engage FSD and we'll kind of see how the car handles the reroute and gets us back to that starting point. And this is where things are gonna to start to get really interesting because the roads are gonna get incredibly narrow and the car is gonna to have to handle some pretty sharp turns in low visibility situations. car makes a left turn here in what appears to be a roadway and on the map and by all standard definitions of a road it is but as you can see it's incredibly narrow and the car is pitched up pretty steeply and it's not able to see in order to make a left turn. I let it kind of pause here for a little bit because there's no one behind me and it just basically gives up it has a hard time figuring out where to go so at this point I am going to take over and then I'll move the car through the intersection here and you'll see it's really not even an intersection. It's almost like a private roadway and it's extremely narrow, even though it is technically a mapped road for public transit. But I will go ahead and turn FSD beta back on and the car does surprisingly well. Throughout this drive today, you will see my hand on the steering wheel a lot, moving the right scroll wheel up and down. And all I'm doing with that is adjusting the speed of the car. A lot of times it wants to go a little bit faster than I'm comfortable letting it at this point. So I am going to be constantly augmenting that set speed, moving the scroll wheel up and down. But you can see this road is super narrow and FSD, while cautious, is able to handle it and it does take us down to the end of the road. So according to the navigation up ahead, again, the car is gonna to try to make a 160 degree turn. Uh, no car would actually be able to do this. And you can see that the double yellow line isn't even hashed. So you're not supposed to make a left turn here. So the car kind of just heads through the intersection. It actually doesn't even attempt to make the left turn, but because it is getting dangerously close to the side of the road, once again, I am gonna take over. So FSD is gonna be disengaged at this point. I will go ahead and turn it back on and then it's gonna take this intersection to the right. So we've got a right turn ahead and the road is gonna pitch down pretty quickly. So the car does actually handle this pretty well. So this is pretty much as difficult as it can get. 
in terms of testing FSD with all these incredibly narrow roadways. You've got cars parked on the side of the road. Up ahead, you'll see a person in the road uh, getting something out of the back of their car and the car does a nice job of moving over and navigating around them. And as we get a little bit deeper into the south side slopes, you're gonna really see how the car has struggles when it's not able to see the road. And again, these are probably some of the steepest and most intense driving situations that I could think of to put my car through uh, given the area that I live in. In general, my daily driving, which if you haven't seen my previous video on my commute to work, the car typically handles that very well without any interventions. And in today's drive, you can see that I'm practically intervening basically every five to 10 minutes. Depending on the driving situation, you really have to continue to monitor and interact when necessary in order to correct the car's behavior. So now we're coming back to the original turn that the car was trying to make. We're approaching it from the opposite direction, so the car should be able to make the left turn. So up ahead is our left, and the car has a hard time figuring out when to move over, and I end up taking over because the car is just far too hesitant and then we'll go ahead and re-engage once we're on the road. So the car's a little awkward moving around these parked cars on the side of the road. It does eventually recognize that they are parked and not actually moving along with the flow of traffic. At this point, I do end up taking over just to be courteous to this other driver so they can pass by. So this right turn ahead is very narrow and pretty sharp and the road is gonna pitch down. So the car is pretty hesitant here, but it does eventually identify that it's safe to proceed and it will move through the intersection. I did apply the brakes in this situation just because that car was approaching towards us. I wasn't sure if they're going to be coming in our direction, but once I saw that they were making the left turn, I did go ahead and reactivate full self-driving. The car does a nice job at this intersection after that steep decline, it moves across. And there's again, lots of parked cars on the side of the road and the car does a nice job of moving out of the way. One thing interesting though, it does not recognize these speed bumps, which it is actually capable of doing in the FSD beta suite. I know it will actually display them on the roadway, so I'm not sure why the car wasn't able to recognize them because they do have painted markings on them. At this point, I do take over as well because the Amazon delivery man walks right into the road and the car identified him, but I just wasn't comfortable getting too close because the road was so narrow. So today's drive had some incredibly challenging situations for the car and many of the roadways we were on would be hard for most human drivers. As I use more of the FSD beta and get more experience with it, I'm honestly very impressed with the car's ability to look at any road situation and at least make an attempt based purely on vision. And most of the competition is relying on HD maps and LiDAR and I don't believe those systems would even turn on in the scenarios we encountered today. Now, today's drive was by no means a good one with no interventions, but I think the areas where the car was successful show some extreme promise for the future of FSD progression. But on that note, if you'd like to see a zero intervention drive and a flawlessly executed 120 degree turn, check this video out. And let me know what you thought of today's drive down in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.